Hey guys, welcome back to Glam Finds, and I'm here for another fragrance review. This fragrance is pretty new. There was a couple of fragrance reviews on it. I think, well, actually there's only one. The other one just said that it sounded good. And I was really on the edge because I saw this drop on fragranceby.ca. But Equality Fragrances, whose channel I'm gonna go ahead and link down below, mentioned something on his IG about this fragrance. And I was like, you know what? It sounds pretty good. Let me show you what this fragrance is and tell you why 90% of me didn't think that I was going to like it. The fragrance that I'm talking about is going to be Mansara's Juicy Flowers. And this bottle is a big part of the reason that I bought it. I kind of love the gorgeous hot pink bottle. Because it's new and I don't think that there's actually a review on it yet, I'll go ahead and show you the presentation. It's just a re regular Mansara presentation gold box. You got all the information back here in the barcode. Batch code down there like you would normally find. And as always, it comes with the little Mansara travel bag, which I really don't use because I don't travel with full size bottles. These are very large and pretty heavy. I don't really love traveling with them. I travel in decants, but I do put my decants in here when I travel. So they're kind of nice to have. Let's talk about the fragrance. I'm not really going to go over the notes. I feel like that's very silly because you guys all have access to the notes. But I read something about what this smelled like that made me feel uneasy. You guys know how I feel about Instant Crush. I feel like it was overhyped and I think that one would have been almost like something that I would be reaching for more if it wasn't so hyped. But this is said to be if Instant Crush had a baby with Jardine Exclusive. Now Jardine Exclusive smells like two other fragrances. One of them is supposed to be Herba Pura, and the other one is Amber Oud Gold by, by Alharmain. I do have Amber Oud Gold by Alharmain, and I do really like that one. It's a very fruity, musky fragrance. That one is a, is a love for me for sure. I thought, okay, you know what? I can get this and if I don't love it, I'll decant it because the price was actually pretty inexpensive, which we'll talk about at the end. But Equality Fragrance says it was a nice combination of the two and I was like, you know what? If he's saying that he likes it, a lot of things that he enjoys I also enjoy. Let me just go for it. Plus, if you look at some of the notes in here, some of them are really agreeable. It has pears, citruses, red fruits, all stuff that I really like. Musk, ambergris, again, really like. Peach, raspberry, vanilla. Vanilla is a hit or miss for me because this sounds really summery. If you put too much vanilla in a summery fragrance, uh, it's gonna be a little different, but again, all notes that I really, really am into. Uh, there's a little bit of florals, uh, rose and jasmine, but with the other, with the other notes in here, I didn't feel like those were going to be too heavy. So I thought, you know what, let me just go ahead and buy it again. It's a new release. It might be really good. So what do I actually smell in this? The backbone of this fragrance is Instant Crush. But I don't mind it like you think, okay? Because in the forefront of this, it's like a nice musky fruit basket. With some florals and ambergris in the background. Okay, I actually really love this fragrance. Let me just say, let me start there. You're gonna get that Instant Crush DNA in the background. You're gonna get ambergris, you're gonna get florals, you're gonna get fruit, you're gonna get musk, a little bit of vanilla, and I feel like raspberry stands out. Let me tell you why raspberry stands out. Sometimes when there is raspberry in a fragrance, to me, it kind of smells a little bit cosmetic -y? I don't know how to exactly describe it because I'm not talking about like iris, how iris kind of has that lipstick -y vibe. It's a different kind of like smooth, really... Sometimes it's the scent that I think of when I think of uh, like red lipstick. And I know that's random, but I know some of you, hopefully the females out there, might have an idea of what I'm talking about. The scent of raspberry to me is really defined and it has that kind of like makeup vibe, but in a way that I actually really like. Now that's not super heavy in there, but I do smell it and I like it. And that's what raspberry comes off to me. And that's why I actually really like raspberry in my fragrances. 
And for some reason, I feel like fragrances that have raspberry, in my experience to date, because even if the projection isn't super strong, the sillage that they give off, it's noticeable and I think it's an attention grabber. And I don't know if you guys have watched this channel, but I'm into that. That's something that I really want in my fragrances. I want them to grab people's attention. So if you really like fruity fragrances, if you really like musk and ambergris, and if you're okay with having some florals in there, I don't think the rose in here is too rosy at all. It's a really fresh rose. I like fresh more than rosy rose, if that makes any sense. I feel like if you guys are watching fragrance uh, videos, you probably know exactly what I'm talking about. And if you really like the note of raspberry, this is probably going to be for you. In terms of performance, what I've noticed with the Manceras that I've gotten at the beginning, they don't perform that well, but if I let them hang out for a little bit, they perform better. So in terms of longevity, I spray my clothes, so I can only tell you that. I got over the nine hour mark, but it wasn't very strong. The best projection that I'm getting in this is the first two hours where it radiates about an arm's length, just maybe a little further, but this is not a beast. This isn't like what you would normally think of in the line of Mancera. Now, in my opinion, I think that's because I'm wearing it in the cold. I do think that this is going to perform better in the seasons that this was intended for which let's move on to that our spring and summer in my opinion i think this is going to be a spring and summer banger i can't wait to wear it in the spring and summer i will be honest i'll be wearing it a lot from now till then anyways because i already have mentally moved on from my winter fragrances because i don't know i think i've just been ordering a lot of the fresher ones and like the more florals and the more fruity ones and i'm really digging them especially this one I don't want to give it away, but this is probably going to be in one of my favorites from the House of Mancera. This could probably be one of my favorite niche. I really think that the raspberry note and how beautifully executed the musk in this is are what probably has kind of led me to that. On top of that, you know, when I smelled this, part of me thought like, this is what Instant Crush was missing for me, like the extra musk and the berry and the fruits this makes it a much better fragrance to my nose i know a lot of you guys love instant crush but for me it was just missing something and it feels like this is what it was missing now who can wear this i think anybody can wear this i'm not even going to say you know that this is for anyone specifically but i already named a few fragrances if you do not like those fragrances this may not be for you but you guys already know i wasn't super sold on instant crush and i love this so i mean take that into consideration on top of that uh this does have florals and if we're going to say that it leans in one direction or the other it does probably lean a little feminine so if you're not okay with that, this may not be for you. However, if you can wear a fragrance with florals and fruit and it doesn't come off as feminine on your skin, then this won't either. Because just because I say it's feminine off me, I don't think that means it's going to be feminine on everybody. Some skin types, for some reason, tone down a lot of the feminine notes in fragrance because, you know, like fruits can be feminine and florals can be feminine. None of that is true. So if your skin tones down those notes that you think for you or feminine, then you probably be just fine with this one. Seasons, spring, summer, it's a Mancera. I'm still gonna wear it in the winter, I don't really care. But spring and summer are when this is really going to shine. Occasions, I would wear this daytime, but to be honest, I would also wear this nighttime. I don't have a problem wearing this. The raspberry note to me gives it a little bit of extra class. And then again, musk, ambergris, it is a fruity floral though, for the most part. So take that into consideration if you prefer that for the daytime. I personally do, but again, I've worn this in the evening a couple times as well because I just really like it. Speaking of that, when I've worn it in the evenings and daytime, whatever, I've gotten compliments with this. This is a really pretty fragrance and people will tell you. Again, it doesn't scream off your skin. So if you're sitting in the vicinity of somebody, they're gonna smell it and it smells amazing. I don't use that word lightly. I don't, I still can't figure out why I like this so much because I did not think I would. Again, based on what's in this, I don't think you guys would have expected me to like it either. But here we are and I really love it. 
And again, I really think the raspberry just brings something to the table with this one and it it pops in this fragrance and I, I really love it. So compliments, I think this is gonna be a really heavily complimented one. I feel like if I do a summer compliment banger list, after summer probably, or maybe after spring, I don't know, this could easily make the list because I feel like this is just gonna keep getting me compliments. It doesn't hurt that I feel like I'm gonna be wearing this a lot because I've already been wearing it a lot. And with that, let's just go right into price. I paid about $77 full presentation uh, for 120 ml of this fragrance, which that's about on par with most Mancera's. And the fact that this, like, I don't think is technically released in the US yet. It, I'm not really sure, because I know this doesn't have too much information. I think that's a steal. I think that's a really good deal. To me, it was definitely worth it, because I, again, I told you if I didn't like it, I was gonna decant it. Mansars are super easy to decant, but I love it. I, I really, really love it. And I thought, let me just put this out there, because in case you guys have been looking at it and not sure whether you should pick it up, well, this is my opinion. If you've tried this, let me know down below what you think. And if you want to try it, comment that down below. I think it's a really good fragrance. I want to know what you guys think. As always, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell because even if you do, you still might not get notified, but it helps. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.